Okay, gentlemen, let's deal with the first issue, which is just how hot is it and why. Richard, I want to go to you first on this, if I can. NASA's report says that from January 2000 to December 2009, <coughs> it was the warmest decade on record. And you have written that there's really no reason to be alarmed by that. Sometimes you say the temperatures go up, sometimes down, occasionally, such as for the last dozen years or so, it does little that can be discerned. Now, there is a vast gap in our understanding between warmest decade on record and little can be discerned. Help us understand that discrepancy, if you would, from your point of view. Sure. Uh, it's not a big problem. Uh, you did have at least according to the records of surface data used by NASA, the Climate Research Unit in England, and NOAA, uh, an increase in temperature from the late 70s uh, through the 90s. And that brought one to a high point in the record. Uh, remember, we're talking about tenths of a degree here. We're, we're not talking about anything very large. It's a magnitude that, uh, you know, almost all of us experience, oh, I would say 30 times as much each day. Um, and so you reached a high point in the record in the 90s, and it's done nothing since then, at least not statistically significant, because each of these points has a fairly large error bar. And so it's been flat since then. And uh, that's completely consistent with the statement that the last decade is the warmest in the record. It just, uh, there's been no trend in it. Now, you could argue maybe trends should be done over longer periods, but then it should be longer than 30 years also. So, you know, we're turning normal variations into the ancient notion of an omen. We're scanning this small residue for small changes and speaking of them as though they were ominous signs of something or other.